Meet Leafy is here. A 20 year old YouTuber that has 4 million subscribers and is a manipulating piece of shit that uses people only to gain more subs and or popularity. Now I know everybody fucking knows who Leafy is here is and I guarantee a lot of people think that we're friends. But in this video I'm gonna show why Leafy is a fucking piece of human trash and why I don't fuck with him anymore. Sorry Leafy you have this coming bro. You shouldn't have fucking used me for 5 months. Anyway let's get into the video. What the fuck is up you guys Nick here and today I want to talk about Leafy is here. Now, I'm sure a lot of people weren't expecting this video. And to be honest, this video is very overdue. I should have made this video months ago. Because the things I'm about to say in this video, I have been feeling for a very long time. Now, I do want to point out that, yes, iDubs did completely, pretty much annihilate Leafy, but... That has absolutely nothing to do with this video. I want to make that clear. Yes, of course he destroyed him. But again, just because Idos made that video is not the reason I'm making this video. As I said, this video is very overdue. I've known Leafy for about five months now, and I feel like the whole time I've known this kid, he's pretty much used me. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I don't like Leafy and also why he's a piece of shit. I guarantee you're watching this Leafy right now and you're... Probably shitting your pants. And let me just tell you, don't respond to this video, all right? Like, I'm I'm trying to tell you, don't respond to it. I know the first thing you're gonna do when you see this video, you're gonna piss your pants. Then you're immediately gonna go on Skype and hit up about four or five other YouTubers that you use, ask them what you should do and if you should respond. And if they do say you should respond, sit there for about eight or nine hours helping you through the whole video while you pretty much do fucking nothing. Render the video, upload it, and get that sweet YouTube ad revenue. Now the first time I talked to Leafy, he had followed me on Twitter and I think I DM'd him or he DM'd me. And he was like, oh, I love your fucking content, man. It's really fucking good. The first video he ever watched of mine was the comedy commentary wars and he said he loved the video and then he gave me a skype i added him on skype and then we talked and i mean while we're talking this kid has you know some good shit to say to me at this point i'm probably at 20,000, maybe less subscribers and you got leafy over here that's sitting at two or three fucking million subs now for me this is insane you know i'm thinking big opportunities here like holy fuck this guy likes my content Maybe he wants to work with me. And in doing so, I can fucking grow. But that's not the case at all. The only thing he needed from me was to use me. So for the people who have seen Commentary Wars, it's me photoshopping characters and YouTubers, putting backgrounds, taking the Photoshop YouTubers, recording the screen and moving the mouse while recording the audio. Now, I had gotten this idea from PewDiePie. PewDiePie had this series called YouTuber High School. And I thought it was funny as fuck. And I seen in the video that, you know, he was using Photoshop, but the way he was recording it, you could still see, like, the square boxes, and you could tell he was in Photoshop. So I took inspiration from that, and I was like, I can do that, but I think I can do it just a tad bit better. So what I did was Photoshop a few things, and I made a story about Keemstar. And it was a very, very successful video. It got me noticed by a lot of big YouTubers. So, of course, I made another video in that same style and called it Commentary Wars, where... It was the commentary community, and Leafy had taken Pyrocynical, and me, Colossal is Crazy, Herotic, No Fuckers, and Dolan Dark were going to go save them. I made a first episode and a second episode to this. Now, there was always supposed to be a Commentary Wars Part 3, but I never ended up making it. And there's a reason for that. It's because one day, Leafy had hit me up, and he, you know, he loved the animations. Animations that I was doing. And he had asked me to do one for his video. So I was fucking geeked up. I'm like, holy shit. Here I am sitting at what, fucking 15,000 subscribers. And I got a guy with 2 million or 3 million at the time subs. And he wants me to do an intro for him. So I'm immediately geeked up. I ran to my dad. I'm like, holy fucking shit. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a goddamn YouTube star. I'm gonna be fucking huge. This kid that has a shit ton of subscribers wants me to do an intro for him. And at this point, I'm thinking, I'm gonna make him the intro, he's gonna shout me out, I'm gonna get some subs, and I'm gonna be able to grow. But fuck no, that's not what happened. So I make the first intro for him, and I give it to him, and at that point, he says, hey man, I'm not gonna give you a shout out, I'm just gonna put you in the description. Because he said, you know, it's just not really shout out worthy, what you did. The few hours, you know, that you took out of your precious time it's it's not worth that shout out, you know? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the description though, so you could get, you know, eight or ten subs, which is really good. No, it fucking wasn't. So when I hear this, I'm kinda sad. I'm a little depressed. I just took all this time making this fucking intro for this kid, and he's not gonna shout me out. 
All right, fine, whatever. He's gonna put me in the description, cool. So after I make this intro for him, he doesn't hit me up. Like, I I'm trying to hit this kid up. He, he, j he just, he's not hitting me up at all. I'm like, well, th well, maybe, you know, he's just, you know, he's a busy guy. He makes fucking daily shitty videos that are super unfucking funny you know maybe he's just you know taking time to make his shit videos but no what i'm guessing is he had used me for what he needed and then you know he moved on but a few weeks later he hit me back up and he said yo nick 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 i'm like yo what's up man he's like hey can you do another intro for me and at this point i'm like dude i don't want to fucking do an intro if you're not gonna shout me out so i had asked hey yeah i can make an intro but could you know like shout me out at the end of the intro or Maybe at the end of the video? Well, no, man. You know, I, I don't want to shout you out because, again, you know, you taking this four or five hours or however many hours it takes out of your time, dude, that's not worth a shout out, man. How about I pay you? All right, sure. Yeah, I mean, fuck. If you're going to pay me, that's what's up. How much are you going to pay me, dude? Is, is 20 bucks okay? Now, I know a lot of people are thinking, you know, hey, what the fuck? It's 20 bucks. I mean, he ended up paying me 50 bucks, but that's not fucking shit. For a minute or 30 seconds of the video, or two minutes, however long it is, is my content, right? And he's done this on two other videos. He paid me $50. And on both of these videos, he made at least $10,000. Which is cool, you know? You're a greedy little fucking 20-year-old piece of shit. You gotta make some money. And I, you know, I understand, you know, he only had, like... I believe at this time $700,000 in the bank, and that's not that much. He was barely scrapping by, you know? I had like about five bucks in my PayPal, so I was doing a bit better than he was financially at this moment. I mean, what are you gonna, you know, buy a, a couple packets of ramen noodles with $700,000? You can't afford shit like that. So after I make the intros, he pays me the 50 bucks, he gives me no shoutouts, he put me in the description. So again, a couple weeks go by and the kid never fucking hits me up. And I'm in a Skype group chat that contains like 20 people, and a lot of those people are pretty big YouTubers. And other, you know, just cool ass fuckers. And I'm telling them, you know, Leafy just used me, you know, and that's what they were telling me also. They're like, dude, he's done this in the past, he's done this before. So I'm like, fuck this guy, fuck this fucking piece of shit, I'm making a fucking video on this kid. Like, I'm gonna go in on this guy. Now remember, there's about 20 people in this group chat. And the kid has not hit me up in about fucking two weeks. But after I say in the group chat that I'm gonna make a video about him, he magically hits me up. Hey Nick, yo Nick, man, what are you doing? What are you doing? Wanna call? Wanna chat? Because what I'm guessing is, one of the fucking 20 people, you know, went and pretty much licked his butthole told them that I was gonna make a video, and then he wanted to be best buds with me. Which I'm not the first person he's done this with. And I actually witnessed this shit. He's also done this with another YouTuber, which you guys probably know, Elvis the Alien. So Elvis is, you know, saying that he's gonna make a Leafy Exposed video or a Leafy video, and he's gonna go in on him how he usually does. And Leafy gets this information, and for some reason, he's shitting his pants. Like, he's scared. So what he does is have another big YouTuber go and talk to Elvis, and also me go and talk to Elvis to try to make them friends so Elvis doesn't make the fucking video. And just to prove that, here are some DMs that you can see Elvis and another YouTuber chatting back and forth, asking if he could talk with Leafy. Hey fam, you busy? Elvis says, what's up man? In a call with Leafy, and he was wondering if he could talk to you. Get the fuck out! Ha <laughs> so no dice then? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, LMAO. I think it's half to compliment you on your own Nisian vid and half to ask what's going on because he's wondering what your problem with him is. He's just going to try to convince me to not make a video on him and then never speak to me again. He's trying to manipulate me. Oh my god, Elvis, you could not be more right in your fucking life. So at this point, you know, Elvis, he's a smaller YouTuber. So he did the same thing I fucking did. He's like, oh, yeah, for sure. So he gets in a call. Leafy says all this good shit. Make sure he doesn't make a fucking video on him. And then just uses and manipulates him. And I just want to say, Elvis is a great YouTuber. Make sure to go in the description below and check out his channel. Give him a sub. Give him some love because he makes some really good content. And Leafy, if you're watching, that's what I call a shout out. That's what you do when you're a bigger YouTuber and you see someone putting out some dope content you like. You shout them out. Now just put them in the description and say fucking nothing about it, you fucking idiot. So after me and this YouTuber talk to Elvis and get him and Leafy the talk so Elvis does not make a video on Leafy, Leafy again just stops hitting me up 
Because the only time this kid hits me up is when he fucking needs something. That's the only time he hits me up. And I don't know why, maybe I was blinded by his subs. I don't know why I was being such a big, fat, fucking pussy about this whole situation. And I'll admit that, I was being a fucking pussy. But I am taking my dick out now and slapping you in the goddamn face with it, Leafy. Don't respond, bro. Do not respond. Because I will come a thousand times harder on your fucking face. It will be a fucking bukkake. So one day, Pyro Cynical hits me up. You know, Leafy, the guy you hate so fucking much. I want to make sure I mention that. Leafy fucking hates Pyro Cynical. He thinks he's copied his whole style, and he just does not like him at all. Just want to make that clear. We're opening up Pandora's box. I don't give a fuck anymore. So Pyro hits me up one day and says, Nick, I'm going on holiday. Do you want to make a video for me? and I will upload it to my channel, and you can promote yourself as much as you want. I was like, are, are you fucking serious? He was like, yeah, any video you want. So I was like, oh my fucking God. This is, a, this is an actual huge opportunity for me. So what I did was I made the Pokemon Go rant, which was completely satire. <laughs> Not one part in that video was serious. I actually should have said that Pokemon was my favorite game on... Sega Genesis because it was that much of a joke. So I made the video, gave it to Pyro, and about two or three days later, he uploads it. It's getting a shit ton of views, a lot of positivity, but there's some negativity there. Which, I mean, what can you do? There always is. But see, what I did at the beginning of the video was I made one of my little animation videos. And a lot of people were pissed off and saying, why are you copying Leafy? Oh my god, this guy's a Leafy wannabe. Look, he's doing the, he's doing the intros like Leafy does. But I'm guessing the people were saying that because they watch Leafy and they see these intro animations that I fucking make and Leafy doesn't say one word about it. Doesn't say who made it, doesn't shout me out, puts me in the fucking description. Which again, probably gave me around eight subs. So at this point, I'm fucking heated. Not only did he never shout me out, he paid me 50 fucking dollars for two of the intros. The guy is taking my intros and he is putting them on his second channel to earn revenue from. And they're getting hundreds of thousands of fucking views. And I mean, the guy couldn't even shout me out on that. Again, he just puts me in the description because he's a piece of fucking shit. He's a greedy little motherfucker that just wants to use people and gain, and gain, and gain from them. He doesn't want to give you anything, he just wants to take. Well, I'm sorry, Leafy, I'm gonna have to slap your fucking hand right now. And now again, I haven't heard from Leafy in fucking weeks or however long it's been. And now the Keemstar shit is going down. Pyrocynical has made a video about Keemstar and iDubs has made a video about Keemstar. So one night, randomly, I get a call from Leafy. I pick up and I say, yo, what's up? He's like, hey man, what's up? I wanna ask you a question. Because he can't make a decision or get an original idea from himself. So he says, pretty much, you know, Keemstar has been getting a lot of hate recently. And I know me and Keemstar are friends, but I've been talking a lot to another YouTuber that I, I just won't name. And me and him are thinking about making exposed videos on him because we want to distance ourselves from Keemstar. This is a business decision. It is clearly a business decision. He even goes to say, I really like the guy, but because everybody was hating on him and making videos about him, he wants to make a video about him because again, this kid is a piece of shit. So we sit on the phone for about an hour or two and I'm telling him, yeah, go ahead, man. If you want to distance yourself and you want to make that business move, then fucking do it. And for two fucking hours, we go back and fucking forth and I'm not getting shit done. And at the end of the conversation, I just go, just fucking do it or something, man. You know, just do it. So he's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it. And we hang up. He calls me the next day and I believe the next day. And he's like, I'm going to do the video. I'm not going to do the video. I'm going to do the video. So finally, when he actually gets some fucking balls to do the video, he hits me and another person up, which I'm not going to mention their names. I don't know if that person wants their name mentioned, so I'm not going to say it. So he hits us up and he sits with us on Skype for four or five hours creating the whole first Keemstar rant. And I'm not talking about just sitting there and like supporting them like, yeah, go, go Leafy, go. No, we pretty much made that whole fucking video. Like that video is pretty much mine. But of course Leafy had to put his spin on it, say literally a thousand fucking times and repeat himself over and over again. Made stupid points because he really didn't have any points because this whole move 
was a business decision. Well, Leafy, I guess this is my business decision with you. You're probably shitting your pants right now, man. So now months go by, you know, we keep in contact and whatnot. And whenever he's messaging me, he's always talking about iDubs and how he thinks he's gonna make a contact cop on him. And he's scared for his fucking life that iDubs is gonna make a content cop on him. And what do you fucking know? iDubs makes a content cop on him, completely fucking destroying this guy. So what's the first thing Leafy does? He sees the video, he runs on Skype, he calls me and asks me what he should do. And at this point, I'm, I'm just sick of fucking Leafy and him using me. And he wants me to sit there for three fucking hours when I need to go to bed and write the script out for the video because he can't make it himself. And he's like, how would you do the video? How would you do the video? All I kept telling him was because I was so fucking sick of his shit, just go in on him. Like, murder him. He fucking killed you, dude. Like, go a thousand times. Like, the people want blood. Kill him! Well, I, I can't really take that angle, so, you know, just stop telling me the dude. I don't, I can't take that angle. So all I do is keep telling him, you know, just fucking murder him. Go in as hard as you can, which I know he can't. He makes the video, and what he does, as he usually does, he sits and tries to justify every point or destroy every point that iDubs makes, which makes the video so fucking stupid. And let me tell you, that video is trash, just like all your other videos. Did I mention you're not funny? I mean, comedy is subjective. And subjectively, you're unfucking funny. So he puts the video out, it's complete shit. iDubs makes a video fucking murdering him again. When this was all going down, when Fousey wanted his address, when iDubs made the video, he called me and he wanted me to fly out to where he was. I'm guessing he wanted me to fly out and pretty much just help him with the video because again his videos are fucking shit so i tell him no i can't do that i'm way too busy i'm streaming and shit like that so no i can't do that because i'm not going all the way to seattle to sit with this kid so i can help him make a video and get nothing out of it so again days or a week goes by he doesn't hit me up at all and if you can see there's a fucking pattern here he only hits you up when he fucking needs something. Cause his videos are unfunny. He can't come up with ideas by himself. He makes daily shit videos. And he's just pretty much unoriginal as fuck. So we're sitting there talking and I'm pretty much about to get to the breaking point of why I'm making this video. It's, it's really everything that just boiled up. So he tells me, dude, you should make a video on H3H3. He's like, I wish I could be in your shoes, you know? With your amount of subscribers, you can make any video you want. And all you need to worry about right now is attention. So, dude, you should make a video on H3H3. The reason he wants me to make a video on H3H3 is because Leafy fucking hates this guy. Just like he hates Pyro Cynical. He won't say it to their face because he's a fucking pussy. Or at least make a video, you know, calling him out because he's a fucking pussy. So, again, I'm like blinded by this kid's sub and I don't know why the fuck... I'm actually considering making an H3H3 video. My whole stream knew I was gonna make a video on H3H3 and there was really no point of making this video. A couple days go by, I still haven't made the video, thank fucking God. And one of my friends, Will, an actual fucking friend, who is a YouTuber, you guys might know him, his name is Erotic. We're talking, we're going back and forth and I'm like, yeah, Leafy told me I should make a video on H3H3. He's like, really? He told me the exact same thing. So right now, Will is doing something, but I asked him, like, yo, you know, take your fucking phone out, and will you record a video on what Leafy said to you and how he said it? So I'm gonna let Will speak for a minute. Right, I'm in my school toilets right now, but Nick, uh, I'm gonna make this video for you. So basically, right, Leafy is here. I've been in contact with him for a bit. Like, I'm not as good friends with, with him as probably Grade and Nick Cash, but I've talked to him quite a lot, and he's... Seems to be a pretty nice guy, but so we were just talking and he, and he sort of got me into an idea of making a video about H3H3 and at the time I was like, yo, this can pull a lot of views, I might actually do it, right? And I talked to other people about it and they were like, mm, I don't know, man, like what exactly has he done? Like, he hasn't really done anything to deserve a video made about him. And I was like, yeah, I know, but it can pull a lot of views and stuff. And I went to Pyrocynical and Pyrocynical was like, Leafy's manipulating you. I'm just like, I don't know, man. And I talk to Leafy, and Leafy's like, yo, yo, come on, man. I'll, I'll even RT the tweet if you release a video. I'll RT the video. I'll get you all the views. Just make a video about H3H3. Keep on, like, you know, telling me to make stuff. And he sends me Reddit articles to use and stuff. 
he, he's, he's pretty, you know, he, he's pretty serious about me making an H3H3 video. I'm like, all right, fine, yeah, m maybe I'll do it. And then I ask other people, and I find out that other people are also being asked by Leafy to make an H3H3 video. So it seems like he's just manipulating all these people to make a video about H3H3 when he hasn't really done anything. So that's sort of my side on it. I've got some screenshots to show you, conversations. Hope that helps. Fucking legend. Now, if you guys want to go check out Will, his name is Herotic TV on YouTube. His link will be in the description. He makes great content. Like, he's super fucking funny. And again, Leafy, that's what we call a shout out. It's just, it's a weird thing. So, yeah, after that, I was like, fuck this. This kid is obviously using me. And I'm so sorry this video has not come out earlier. I'm so sorry that I took so long to make this video. But Leafy, I would just like to say, don't ever hit me up again. You're a fucking piece of shit. You were never a friend and you're not a friend. You've told me a million times you're gonna retweet out my videos, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, and you've never done one thing you've said. And you obviously just use people to gain more subs and popularity. So anyway, you guys, if you like this video, make sure to finger that like button. Make sure to leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to get notified when I do upload, I should be streaming right now. So if you want to come to my Twitch, chill, you know, talk shit. If you're a fucking leafy fanboy, you know, you want to talk shit to me. I'll be right over there, man. I'm gonna be playing some Kingdom Hearts 2, which is, you know, it's pretty fucking tight. Now, including all the great YouTubers that are in the links below, I also want to shout out the human rat who made me my intro. I kept telling him, yo, I'm gonna shout you out on a big video. I think this is gonna be a pretty fucking big video, so so I really wanna thank you for that intro, bro. I fucking love it. Anyway, you guys, I fucking love you. Leafy, suck a dick. Peace the fuck out.